Sports Talk Chicago. Here with John Zaglul, and we are back and ready for today's special guest. He's the CEO and partner at Dugout Mugs. Please welcome Chris Denner to the program. Chris, it's great to have you on. How are you? What's going on, John? Thanks for having me, man. So tell me about Dugout Mugs. Uh, how'd you guys get your start? Well, Dugout Mugs, so we're the guys making all the uh, crazy baseball bat barrels hollowed out into some pretty sweet mugs. Um, but the way it got started was, oh, God, probably six years ago now. Um, my business partner, Randall Thompson, came up with this idea. Um, and, you know, it was, it was uh, I wouldn't say tire kicking, but it was kind of like hobby-ish. And then he started getting some traction. He's like, man, I really want to run with this thing. And uh, he was looking for, because he was a one-man show, right? And so he was looking for some support. And I was looking to get into something fun and exciting. And I've grown a couple of businesses in the past. And he's just a good dude. And I said, man, listen, I'll run with you on this, but you got to you gotta go all in. And uh, he agreed. And, and that was January 2017. Yeah, 2017 January is when we actually officially kicked off as partners. And we just we've been grinding and flying ever since. You know, it's a it's a lot of fun, which makes it nice. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of fun to run a project like this. What's the process been like in growing because now you guys are affiliated right you know you have licensing deals with mlb the, the hall of fame how'd you guys get those things in place well um showing up right uh so really what it comes down to is is we make a really good product and we got a lot of good feedback and a lot of good reviews and a lot of you know we, we make quality stuff and um when you know when you do that it's really it's just a matter of getting it in front of people and that's what I do best. Like I, I love promotion. I love sales. So we got really creative at the very beginning, but then our numbers spoke for themselves. I mean, um, tens of thousands of units uh, were going out on a quarterly basis. And when MLB and my, our MLB Players Association was actually the first one to jump on board with us. Um, so we got a lot of love for those guys. And um, yeah, just one thing led to the next. And um, you know, numbers speak for themselves. You, you reach out, you got a unique product, you got um, a proven sales history. And those guys, you know, they, they know what's going on. They see everybody buying our stuff anyway. They, don't, they want a piece of that. Uh, so really, it was just a matter of connecting a few dots and putting our money where our mouth is. How did you guys even come up with this product? Like, I mean, it's so unique. Who came up with the idea? Okay, let's hollow out a baseball bat and let's turn that into a mug and sell it. Yeah. So that's Randall. You know, that's all Randall. This was back when he was coaching at Florida Tech, um, probably 2015, something like that. Uh, he's told the story so many times I should know. But uh, yeah, I think it was like 2015. And he was coaching at Florida Tech. And one of the other coaches was sawing off of that to use the handle for a hitting drill. And uh, they're rolling around in the dugout and the barrels were left over. And Randall's thinking to himself, which for a, a normal person, that's a really strange thought. But for Randall, these thoughts just go on all the time. And I've come to love that about him, uh, just his unique, um, you know, thought process of things. And he's like, I, I could hollow that out and drink from it because I already kind of have the cupping anyway. Right. And he's like, I wonder how far down that'll go. And, you know, he took some of these barrels home and, you know, <laughs> probably got out a basic drill and wood set and just went to town after it. But, you know, our processes have certainly um gotten a lot better than that over the you know over the last bunch of years but that's where it all originated was chopped in half bats and hollowed it out with a drill i mean i'm sure you're a baseball guy but when you first heard about that idea okay a hollowed out baseball bat were you like hey you're crazy like well, what is this yeah yeah <laughs> i told him i said i think it's i think it's kind of dumb man um but i didn't see it right and that's okay um I, i'm an opportunist and i uh i'm an idea guy so sometimes it's I'll give that a go. You know, I'll run with you if you're willing to run with me. I said, I kind of know what to do from a marketing and sales standpoint. And you're telling me people love it. And he's like, just carry it around with you. I still have it. Check this out. So this is the one he gave me uh, all those years ago. Wow. It's changed. Our, our designs changed a little bit, but this is the first one he gave me. And I walked around with this thing for like a week and everyone's like, oh man, that's amazing. And I said, okay, well maybe, maybe let's give it a go. And I'm glad I did. You know, I'm really glad I did. And you guys have other products too, right? Not just the dugout mug, you have the yeah. wind up, the knob shop, the season opener. What are those all about too? Well, I, I don't have any of those with me. Um, <laughs> I can't even really keep them on the shelves, to be honest. Uh, but but the, we just kept going, right? We kept innovating. 
um, we'd have an idea and like, hey, well, then we'll leave out the bat handle. So we have the season opener and the knob shot, which we got a cool promo we'll do for you guys in a minute for the knob shot. But uh, it's a baseball bat handle hollowed out and turned into a shot glass. And the season opener is a baseball bat handle that is a uh, bottle opener. And they're all MLB licensed and able to be customized and things like that. Um, but then we have the wind up, which is a six ounce. It's kind of looks like a mini bat, but it's wine glass. Uh, and then we have the dugout mug, which is the, the original, the flagship. Um, and then we also have the um, short stop, which is kind of like a whiskey coffee size mug. It's nine ounces. And then we recently just came out with these. These are the, uh, they replicate aluminum. Um, the old school aluminum bats. And I mean, look, they're spill proof, wow. right? We got this really cool lid. It's a slider lid on it. So we made, we basically made, and this one is, I guess I grabbed on the way out. I grabbed an Orioles mug, but that's, you know, these are all MLB licensed as well. So yeah, we just keep innovating, keep creating. Chris Dennard here on Sports Talk Chicago. Who came up with all these ideas? I mean, I, I assume you had something to do with it. How'd you guys come up with the expansion of the product? You know, just sitting around um, laughing about what we've done so far, honestly. It's like, oh, man, I wonder if that'll work. Because, I mean, anytime you can turn a, a, a baseball bat barrel into a mug and turn that into a multi-million dollar company, you kind of lose track of reality, right? So we just kind of sit around hanging out, laughing, having a beer, saying, I wonder if we can do that. And we've come up with some dumb ones along the way. Not very many, thank God. Uh, but, yeah, just – being being different we understand our customers we ask a lot of questions we want to, we know what they like what they don't like so we just try to build from that you know how important is it to be active with your customers because you guys seem like the company where you're very ingrained in your um in your fan base to make sure you know what products to make oh yeah it's it's um it, it's paramount in business uh to be in tune with your customer uh, ask them what they want and then provide it in a lot of cases versus, oh, I know better than they do. They're the one buying your stuff. Maybe you don't, maybe ask the right questions. And that's what we've done. We've polled our customers for years. Um, hey, give us some information. We're trying this. We're trying to price that. What is this? Why do you buy? Do you use it? Do you not use it? Where do you use it? You know, just a lot of these questions is super important because then it allows, that's the reason we did this. Cause they're like, oh man, I really wish I had something that would keep my um, my coffee hot at the, at the, the travel ball field. And I wish it held a little bit more. And I, and, and if it tips over, I don't want it to spill. So we need a lid. It's like, okay, we'll do that. And we've, we've already, we just launched it a few weeks ago. We're already sold like 10,000 units. You know, wow. the, these uh, new stainless steel dugout mugs are just incredible. They're super useful, practical. You guys have experienced um, looking right now, hundred percent year to year growth. Um, for five consecutive years, you're an Inc. 500 company. Uh, just tell me about all of that growth that you guys have had. How have you been able to sustain as a business? Um, be hungry. We're hungry, right? And we're, we're fearless and we're fun and we're authentic. We're unapologetically authentic. Um, we're unique. We're creative. Uh, we build a, um, uh, an atmosphere around our company the rapport with our customers, the rapport with our staff, um, the, you know, and it's Inc. 5,000. We didn't get to 500. We only got to 719, but uh, not bad for our debut on the list. Um, <laughs> but yes, so I, I think, I think in business and, you know, I've had, I have a history of business almost 15 years now. And I think the, the, the money and success that's secondary tertiary, right? if you do the right things on a consistent basis, everything else just works itself out. And that was something that I was very big on from the very beginning. It's like, listen, let's Randall being a baseball player, the mechanics, consistency, show up, work hard, leave it all out there, go home. Right. And we, we do a lot of that. And I think the, the success is kind of, we kind of expected it honestly, you know, uh, maybe not to the levels that we've reached, but we certainly expected to win. We certainly expect to win every day, every month, every year. Um, but it's, it's really about the, uh, uh, the culture that we build at the company has the right people gravitating to us. So we have a hell of a team. 
um, around us from our sales guys and our managers and shipping and customer service and just everything. Um, so it's kind of to be expected, you know, what we've done thus far, because we just got a bunch of amazing people in and around our company. Would you say your company defines the American dream? hundred percent. It's just a, it's a bonus that it's America's pastime and beer is America's drink. I hate, I don't know if that's actually a thing, but it could certainly be argued, right? Um, beer, we get to do beer and baseball and, you know, you go after your dream and you don't make it. Uh, in Randall's case, he was going to be a professional baseball player. He was, you know, to the, you know, to the, the lowest level of professional, but he didn't make it all the way to the bigs. I had a lot of things going on. I had a lot of uh, turmoil in my life. And it's like, I was able to hit the reset button, you know? Um, and then we turn around and, um, you know, we're one of the fastest growing licensees in major league baseball in over a decade. And we ink five, ink, ink 5,000 We're covers of magazines. We're traveling. We're in seven countries. We're in every stadium. Like it's just insane. Um, so yeah, I mean, if that's not the American, well, but you know, in all fairness, everybody has a different dream. You know, for the, the coin term, the American dream, sure. I think it's a, a, the epitome of that, but it, it, everybody has different dreams, right? This, would, this happened to be ours. We want to do something fun. We wanted to make money. We wanted to support our families. We wanted to support dozens and dozens of families through what we do. And we wanted to leave our mark on the game. Randall, in particular, wanted to leave his mark on the game. And I, I certainly think he did that. What's the uh, favorite player collab you guys have done with a certain player in baseball? Well, all these ones behind my head, um, you know, those are certainly ones. But up there, Mariano Rivera, just a class act individual. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. was one of my guys growing up. That was super cool. Uh, David Mickey Evans that wrote, directed, and narrated The Sandlot. Did you see our Sandlot mug, the collab mug? Oh, it's Awesome. We took that that iconic photo and wrapped it around the mug. But the day we spent with David sitting at a beach bar, no shoes on, having a beer, talking about the sandlot, you know, hours of conversations that no one will ever know. Right. Like, it was just really cool. Um, that was super fun. Um, we've got to, oh God, there's a ton. There really is a ton. Um, Jim Tomei. Uh, he was a he was an iconic guy for me growing up in Winter Haven. He played for the the Indians. He works with the Sox now, so I had an opportunity to talk with Jim, and we got a, I think we got a collab coming down the pipe with him. That's super fun. Um, a bunch of Pudge Rodriguez, an incredible individual. We've done a lot of stuff with Pudge. Pete Rose, I com I com uh, commentated Game Three of the World Series with Pete Rose uh, last year. Like what? Sit on the phone with the hit king for two and a half hours, just just shooting the shit, talking about baseball. Like it was really cool. Um, so different different people for different reasons, you know. Anthony Rizzo called me. He got our mugs as a housewarming gift, and he calls me and said, "Hey, Chris, I just want to say thanks for the mugs." I'm like, "Okay, right." It's just it's really it's just one fun experience after another. Chris Dennard still here on Sports Talk Chicago. Chris, just a couple more questions before we finish up. Yeah. Can you tell me about the Cheers to Charity initiative too? You, you talked about earlier how you do the right things in business. Technically, things will you know work out for the best. And you guys have done some good stuff outside of a business or profitable atmosphere too in donations and charity. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, m moving from uh, profit to passion to purpose in a business, I think is crucial. Um, and our Cheers to Charity initiative is that for us, we're able to celebrate and serve the heroes of the baseball community. And sometimes it's guys like Mariana Rivera and Pudge Rodriguez. And sometimes it's folks that you've not heard of that are doing just amazing things in their, in their small town communities in rural nowhere, right? That are, uh, or down in the Dominican, uh, kids that are orphans. We're sending down gloves and balls and bats and stuff. Right. Um, it just it's a cool way to to just have fun and be cool, you know, and take care of this amazing community, the baseball community that certainly has taken care of us. Um, I mean, who doesn't want to do cool, fun stuff for kids and people in the baseball space or make commemorative mugs for the, you know, the, the soldiers or it's endless. Right. Um, I think it's 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 just good juju out there, you know.
Tell me about your September giveaway, your September signature giveaway. Yeah. So the September signature giveaway, I, let's see, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Um, I forgot the, the link. Do you have the link? Oh, here it is. Text the word super to 85311. So uh, what we do is we give away autograph stuff every single day for the entire month. Um, because why not? Right. Like behind me, all this is autographed. These two are autographed. I got Juan Soto's bat over here. These baseball cards are autographed. We work with these players. They're amazing individuals. They send us stuff all the time. So we just give it away. Right. Nothing better than free, fun stuff. And, you know, purchase nothing. We just we again, we just like having fun with the baseball community. So, um, yeah, uh, was it text super to eight, five, three, one, one. And you're entered for the whole month. Um, and, and then also, I mean, down the road, we're always doing these kind of giveaways. We do it a lot at Christmas, um, that we have the knob shot. Giveaway. That's a little different, but, uh, we, we do that as well. And yeah, man, it's just fun. Like, why not? Imagine you're just sitting there and you get a phone call. It's like, Hey, you just won a, uh, Mariana Rivera signed hall of fame baseball. Have a good day. That was like a dream every day. <laughs> it happens every day, right? It's, it's super fun. Then last question before we finish up, um, the knob shot offer. Well, what's that all about? Yeah. Tell the audience. Uh, so the knob shot, it's, I had one up here. Uh, I must've taken it with me back to the warehouse, but it's the baseball bat handle shot glass. They're like 30 bucks on our website, but we do um, uh, from time to time, we do something called the knob shot giveaway where we just give them away for free, um, pay shipping and handling to get in there. It's about eight bucks. Um, and I, we set one up for this video, uh, dugoutmugs.com forward slash John Z, right? J-O-N-Z. And you go to that link and it's it'll automatically apply. You get the, a free knob shot, uh, pay the shipping and handling and any team you want. It can be the Cubs, it can be the Sox, it can be the Yankees, Marlins, whatever you want. And uh, yeah, start off, uh, start off the collection right on us. Chris, thank you so much for joining me. Best wishes, of course, moving forward with Dugout Mugs, and I'm sure we'll catch up again soon. But thank you so much. No doubt. Thanks for having me.